Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I am using a new to me color in the DIY family called Prairie Gray. It is a neutral that I am adding to my fall decor at home and in my booth. So if you want to see how the projects turn out, stick around. So this week for me has been a very busy week and I was recently, in fact this morning, reminded by my friend Kristen to enjoy the process and the irony is she used my own words. She quoted me saying enjoy the process, it's the most important part. And honestly guys, this week I had not been enjoying the process. I had been working on this piece of furniture. I will put a little video right here. It is a monster piece. It's taking longer than I wanted it to, but it's for an exciting purpose. And I, if you guys stick around to the end, I have some exciting news to share with you about something I'm adding to my booth and to my life. And the fun part is, Kristen reminded me, my own words, that the process is the most important part of this for you as a creator and for me as a creator. And I have forgotten in all this rush of things, the excitement that what is about to happen in my booth is something that I've been dreaming about. And I kind of missed that. I kind of missed that. So I'm just here to remind you to enjoy the process. Um, feed yourself creatively, and let's get started on this week's projects. Our first project today is one that can be easily overlooked, but adds a bunch of height and depth and dimension. I got this little crate for 50 cents at the thrift store, and while you could paint it today, all I'm gonna do is sand down the really furry edges. I do not like it when splinters are just all over the place. Sand it down with an orbital sander, and then take my antiquing wax mixed with water, do a nice hefty dose of this on the wood, and just let it dry. And done. It's a nice aged crate that can use, be used for a riser, a cute little basket to put pumpkins in, just some wood to add to your decor. been grabbing fall decor throughout the year and I got this little grab bag for 50 cents of all these very light very cheap pumpkins but decided I was going to try a new color in the color prairie gray from DIY to update these and I'm going to try and sell them in groups of three the first thing I'm going to do is take out all these extra things wipe them down and then get started with two coats of the DIY paint in the color Prairie Gray. finish each set of three in a different way but the first thing I'm going to do is 
cover it with some clear wax here i'm using the waverly clear wax just to seal the paint because it is diy clay based paint you always need to seal it when you're done with the color and then on top of this i'm going to be adding some white wax to one group along with the dark wax and then the second group i'm just going to add only dark wax so i know i have a favorite from these two groupings i'm curious if you guys do do you like the ones with white and then dark wax over the top of it or the one with just dark wax also there was a little hole in this little styrofoam so i took some air dry clay and just kind of smushed it in there and painted right over it and you would never know that there was an injury on this little cheap pumpkin so that is another tip for you guys as well This next thrifted pumpkin was very different than the others so I included it as a project of its own I got it for one dollar and I took out all the pieces and if I wanted this to just be one color it would have made sense to spray paint this maybe white but for this one I had a different idea in mind I'm going to paint the whole thing two times and that same prairie gray color and then I'm going to wet distress the prairie gray back so that you can see a little bit of the orange coming through. Orange is not my favorite fall color. I know I could get some flack for that, but I think poking out of this nice um, dark neutral, the orange really looks nice. So I did two coats of the prairie gray. I followed it up with some DIY dark wax and made sure I waxed the stem before putting it back in. And I'm actually really excited with the, how this one turned out. What do you guys think?
project is just a simple basket I got at the thrift store and I believe it was around three or four dollars guys my eyes I can't see anymore um, anyway this is a nice um, tight pattern of basket so it wasn't too bad painting with a brush some baskets are easier spray painted but I chose this one because it was a nice tight pattern and I do not like the color of it at all so I did two coats of this paint I sprayed it with a polyurethane I didn't do any distressing to it um, or wax because I thought it looked really nice the way that it was so this one is a nice simple process but with really cool drastic results what do you guys think Guys, we are on project number five, the last project for this video, and this one might be my favorite. I went down to the basement. I got these scrap wood two by fours and cut them into random sizes. Did two coats of prairie gray on most of them, but then the last one I only did one coat and I probably could have just gotten away with the one coat in the first place. So I did my paint and then I put polyurethane on top of that. Um, you can see the difference between the dried first coat and the wet second coat. Um, when it dries, because it's clay, it dries much lighter. And then when you put the top coat on, it dries somewhere in between the color of the dry paint and this polyurethane color paint. So there is a little bit of what they call the freak out factor when it dries and it's not quite the color you thought it would be and then when you put the sealer on also not the color you thought it would be but in the end it's such a beautiful color here i am showing you the one on the top has wet polyurethane on it the one on the right is dried diy paint that's not sealed and the one on the bottom is the completely sealed with polyurethane color and you can see that it dries somewhere in between the two after the polyurethane dries on all sides, I took it out to my garage and hit it with an orbital sander to give it some shabbiness. This is the IOD type setting stamp set. You want to make sure you press down and don't let the stamps move at all once you have put it down on your piece. And then the thing I like about these particular stamps is they have an antique look to them already. So it's not looking for this perfect um, imprint. It's imperfect, which I love. I'm using the stays on permanent ink in the color black. And then after I finish inking all of these projects, I do go over it one more time with a polyurethane just to seal it all in.
So what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite project? Listen, I don't know if you figured it out by now, but I am so excited to announce that I am officially a DIY paint retailer. It is going to be going in my booth next week as soon as I finish up that piece of furniture and get all this paint that has arrived into my life. It has been a process and my girls have been helping me unbox and sort and tag. And it's just been a kind of an exciting time to be able to use a paint that I've always loved. And when I use this paint, it makes me feel like an artist. There's something about getting clay base paint all over your hands, just feeling like a true artist and like you have control over your outcome. So one of the main reasons that I decided to join this paint company is first of all, the quality of product. Y'all know I love apothecary and white wax. Second reason is I couldn't get it locally anymore. My, my retailer had pulled out of this territory and you know what? It was all perfect timing. Lately, I've been noticing that Debbie Beard, who is the owner and creator of this brand and just the way that she loves people and her heart, that really helped seal the deal for me. I love the product. I can't find the product locally. I have a booth and then I love the heart of the woman who started this. So those were my reasons to get started with this particular paint brand. Um, I appreciate y'all's excitement because you know this is another thing I can add to my booth to get people into my booth, sell the other stuff, and be able to um, have access to all of the DIY products to show you guys more and more products and possibilities. Guys, I am so excited about this announcement. I am, after I'm done with this today, I need to get back out there and work on this um, hutch to get it done. I'm excited about the future of my booth and you know I will be taking you along for that ride um, on my monthly updates with my booth updates. So if you guys like this kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to all so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you're excited about the DIY paint line. And did you guys have a favorite project today? Guys, thank you so much for rooting for me and for coming on this journey with me. I'm so excited that you're here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.